my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist in the Celiac Disease Program at Mayo Clinic Rochester. And with me today I have... My name is Jackie C. I'm a clinical dietitian, uh, nutritionist at Mayo Clinic. Great. Well, today we're going to talk about a, a topic that keeps on coming up. That's non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Well, a lot of people are now avoiding gluten. Um, of course, celiac disease, a previously much under-recognized disease, is a disorder that damages the intestine. It occurs to certain people who are genetically predisposed, who when they eat cereals, wheat, barley, or rye, or foods that contain the protein that's called gluten from these cereals, uh, can cause damage in the intestine. It can result in lots of different symptoms, digestive symptoms, even non-digestive symptoms such as fatigue and headache are quite common. But apart from that condition, there are a lot of people who have been avoiding gluten. Some are doing that because they themselves have tried it and some are doing it for other reasons. And Jackie, in your practice, you see a lot of people who've gone on a gluten-free diet. Do you want to tell us a little bit about what are the different reasons people tell you that they've done that? Um, yes, there's a lot of interest in gluten-free diets. Um... Uh, some people go gluten-free to try mm -hmm. to lose weight, some think it's a healthier diet, some do it to increase their athletic performance mm -hmm. or increase um, energy. Mm -hmm. And is there much evidence for any of these benefits or supposed benefits for a gluten-free diet? Well, um, if you, uh, as far as weight loss, if you cut out all sources of gluten, such as brownies, cookies, pasta, mm -hmm pizza, sandwiches, uh, you're bound to lose weight because you're reducing mm -hmm. your calorie mm -hmm. intake. Mm -hmm. But uh, the gluten-free versions of these foods have just as many calories. calories. Mm -hmm. And sometimes mm -hmm. they have more calories because it takes more fat and sugar mm -hmm. to um, make them palatable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there might be uh, indirect benefits from going gluten-free, but not necessarily because of avoiding the gluten. Right. There's really okay. nothing in gluten that will cause weight loss. Okay. Um, now, with non-celiac gluten sensitivity, there has been some work suggesting that in a few patients that there can be an immune response to gluten or to the wheat products or wheat, them, wheat, them, wheat itself that is not technically celiac disease. And you know, Sometimes I know we see patients who have got digestive complaints, something like irritable bowel syndrome or chronic diarrhea, who sometimes seem to benefit. Have you seen much of that and what's um. your approach to that been? Um, that's uh, what we consider non-celiac gluten sensitivity. Mm -hmm. uh, some people have the same symptoms of the, uh, that people with celiac mm -hmm. disease do, mm -hmm. but uh, testing for celiac disease is negative. Okay. And uh, so those people might benefit by reducing mm -hmm. uh, gluten in their diet. They may not need to be as strict as someone with celiac mm -hmm. disease. Mm -hmm. If you have celiac disease and eat gluten, it damages it, the lining of your intestine sure. and it can have long-term consequences. Sure. So, uh, let's say I'm somebody and I, maybe I've got some digestive complaints and I hear about gluten maybe being an issue. Is there anything wrong with me going gluten-free without perhaps talking to my doctor first or having any testing done? Uh, it's very important that you talk to your doctor first because if mm -hmm. you go on a gluten-free diet, and be tested later, the testing will be negative. Okay, for celiac disease that those tests turn right. negative. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, do you think it matters though that I, you know, if I've gone gluten-free and I feel better, does it really matter that I go back and get tested or uh, maybe go back onto a gluten challenge? Well, I think if, if it's important to know if you have celiac disease versus non-celiac gluten sensitivity mm -hmm. because the management is different. Um, well, if you have celiac disease, we'll want to test your family members to see if they have it because it runs mm -hmm. in families. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll need to be monitored for nutritional deficiencies. Mm -hmm. And um, so it is important. Okay. Um, and are the tests for celiac disease difficult? I mean, the blood tests seem to be fairly straightforward. Um, um, yeah, the blood test is pretty mm -hmm. uh, pretty simple. Mm -hmm. If the blood test is positive, then you would go on to have a small bowel biopsy, mm -hmm. which is done through an endoscopy. Okay, excellent. Um, finally, do you think there's going to be, is there more research being done on non-celiac gluten sensitivity? or? 
or perhaps, I mean, do you think there will be more knowledge or more understanding of this condition? Um, yes, there's ongoing research to find out. Uh, they're trying to find markers to determine mm -hmm. if you have non-celiac gluten sen sensitivity because mm -hmm. there really there are no blood tests to mm -hmm. determine that. Okay. And um, and uh, there there'll also be research to find out how strict you need to be with mm -hmm. the diet. We, at this point, we really don't know. Okay. How about um, people? Um, you who avoid gluten, are there other things in wheat that could cause symptoms, do you think? Well, um, uh, gluten is the protein in wheat. Uh, the carbohydrate in wheat is called fructan, and uh, fructan is not digestible by the human body, and mm. that can often cause gas and bloating. Mm. So, so it could found, produce the same symptoms. Yeah, they're found mm. in the same food, so it's hard to tell what, mm. the, what the culprit sure, sure. is. And is that diet a FODMAP restricted diet? Is that are the fructan is that a difficult diet to follow? The FODMAP diet is more difficult because it eliminates uh, many types of carbohydrates mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. don't digest completely. It mm -hmm. eliminates uh, several types of fruit, dairy, mm -hmm. wheat, and so that one's much more difficult. But but it is a temporary diet. We want you mm -hmm. to try re reintroducing mm -hmm. these foods to okay. see how many you tolerate. And finally, are there things in a gluten-free diet that are, or is there something about a gluten-free diet that's, that's less than ideal? I mean, are people who go on a gluten-free diet are the things they need to look out for or supplement, for example? Um, yes, yeah, some people think the gluten-free diet is healthier than the typical American mm -hmm. diet. In, in some ways it is because you eat less processed foods, mm -hmm. but uh, there are a lot of things in whole grain, like in wheat, it's a good source of fiber, B vitamins, mm -hmm, iron. Mm -hmm. um, most uh, most gluten-free foods are made of refined flours, which means uh, they've lost most of those nutrients and all they contain is starch and a little bit of mm. protein. Uh, most regular grain products are enriched and fortified with B vitamins and mm -hmm, iron. Mm -hmm. Most gluten-free foods are not. Okay. So there are definitely some you know, disadvantages of going sure. on the gluten-free diet. Well, excellent. Well, Jackie, thank you for, uh, for coming today. And um, this conversation will be one that will likely continue uh, mm -hmm. about non-celiac gluten sensitivity or as some might term non-celiac gluten sen or wheat sensitivity. Um, I think the most important points that we've discussed are if you f have symptoms, and if celiac disease is a possibility, be tested for celiac disease first. Exactly. Remember, the gluten-free diet is not the answer for everything. Mm -hmm. And certainly, there's very little evidence that, that it shows that it, it causes in itself weight loss or enhances athletic performance. People probably would learn more about nutrition if they were uh, in, in discovery this. And maybe they'd eat less fast food, less junk food, perhaps, mm -hmm. that might help people. Um, and really, this will be an evolving area. But Jackie, thank you for, for coming today, and thank you for your attention. Thank you.